All right, hello everybody and welcome to this role-playing session of Dark Heresy. We have four players in the party. Let's start with, uh, who are we going to start with? Let's start with Skive. Is it Skive or Skiv? Skive. Skive. You want to tell us a little bit yeah. about your character? Yeah, I am a psyker from... I can't remember the name, I don't have it here, but he's from a, one of the worlds where they're uh, super into the Emperor, so he's pretty zealous. Okay. So he's a, yeah, he's a flagellant, he's a chem geld, he's all into the Emperor and all that fun stuff. Nice. What's, uh, what's he look like, what's he wearing for clothes? He is an older gentleman, hunched over. Uh, thin. He carries around an all-weather cape that he got back in the day. It's one of his mementos, and he wears a tatty robe, being a flagellant and uh, zealot. He's uh, into the old uh, uh, what's that called? God Emperor. Yeah, well, not that, but like his whole personality is basically um, where you deprive yourself of things to uh, increase, like, your your faith, you know? I, I can't remember the term for it, but... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know, what you're, know what you're trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh... So what happened to him when he got sanctioned in front of the Golden Throne? Um, he got tortured pretty bad. <laughs> Ouch. If you do, it left it left um, some pretty good scars on him. So anytime the uh, Holy Terror gets mentioned, he kind of twitches in in memory of that. But it feeds into his uh, self-flagellation, so that kind of gives him a, a faith boner every nice. time that happens. But it's <laughs> <not fun. laughs> a little S and M every time you talk about the uh, the Holy yeah, Throne of Terror. Yeah. yeah, not bad. <laughs> and who will we do next? We'll do uh, Blake. Why don't you tell us about your character? Well, so my character is his name is Blake. He comes from the home world of the Void, and he was born in space. Um, he is currently an assassin. Um, he was born on a trader vessel. Uh, he had very neglectful parents. Uh, they they didn't they didn't really pay much attention to him. So. He ended up uh, finding things to do for himself, learning how to uh, survive for himself, and trying to just get by. His his parents uh, were more into money and trying to to uh, get rich and, and scam other people. Uh, they verbally and physically fought in front of Blake. Uh, sometimes they would they would uh, abuse Blake. Um, Blake invented many imaginary friends and enemies to, to make up for the lack of role models and people who he interacted with. Because mm -hmm. in space there wasn't, I mean, he was on a trader vessel, so there wasn't many kids to play with. <laughs> kind of all by himself. Yeah, so he was, he was more or less a loner, which kind of scarred him and, and, and made him very psychopathic, if, mm -hmm. if I could probably say that. Yeah. Um... His, uh, his parents were brutally killed in front of him during a trading mission where his parents took him on. And um, his parents took him with him, or with them and, um, at the age of nine. So his parents, you know, they, they were trying to do some sort of deal with, with a group of um, sketchy guys, and they tried to scam them. And then the guys, you know, kind of caught on to what they were doing and ended up killing them right in front of the guys didn't really care about the kid, they just kind of left him there. And so, after that, uh, the Imperium took him in because they came to investigate what was going on and found Blake. So they kind of took him in and, and uh, kind of brought him up in, in some sort of like orphan area or something. And then uh, he kind of uh, joined the service and, and they, they saw that he had a propensity for killing and, and kind of liked it. So they decided to, instead of, you know, killing him or, or getting rid of him, they would, um, they would employ him and, and, and use
use his skills. That's cool. So now he's working for the Inquisitor. Yeah. Nice. Um, all right, Jones, tell us a little bit about your character. Or who are you, Novus? Yep. Uh, Novus is an arbitrator. He's from an Imperial Shrine world. Uh, when he was growing up, he was trained uh, to be a priest to pray to the Emperor. But uh, something bad happened, and one of the one of the clerics started communing with the chaos. So what Novus had to do is he uh, grabbed the nearest um, oil lamp. It's like it's like one of those oil lamps. It's like a basin of oil, and they just light the top on fire. He grabbed that and uh, threw that all over the priest to set him on fire. Uh, of course, he did that because you know. He caught him communing with the chaos, so he had to burn him, and that's when uh, he was recruited originally, because uh, you know he puts uh, chaos guys on fire. Cleanse the heretics. Yes, sir. So is he? Would you say he's? Uh, he has little. Uh, what's the word? Little patience for someone that partakes in heretical actions. Oh yeah, he'll. Uh, He'll kill you very quickly if you uh, if you find you to be a heretic. He'll Just you drop you. Go against the emperor. Okay. He also has that uh, burn scars on his hand from the oil when it burned him when he picked it up to burn the guy. Ouch. And so, last but not least, we have Mur. What's uh, what's Mur's story? Uh, Mur. Um, he is a failed recruit for the uh, space marine. <laughs> He joined the guard to kind of regain some of that honor, um, and he's uh, dark-skinned because he is from a Nocturne. Uh, he's kind of big. Uh, I kind of env envision uh, the Rock <laughs> when I was creating the character. Okay. Like super, um, super muscle. Yeah, like The Rock now, not The Rock during his Disney movies. <laughs> um, uh, his failed attempt at uh, becoming a, a space marine involved, you know, that their rituals on Nocturne is to kill a salamander. Um, his brother and uh, he went out to know on their missions to kill a uh, salamander and he was about to his brother was um in the process of killing one and things kind of went just wrong and he ended up actually killing his own brother by accident ouch and that's how he kind of failed that and you know the um salamanders their whole doctrine is to you know protect human life above all and he ended up taking his own brother so he's very um, out to try and repent that gotcha that's cool and now I think that's everybody so you guys are all uh, all working for the Ordos Hereticus um, trying to find the Inquisitor's name real quick One sec. So what um what class is this everyone? Just a scythe as well. What's that? What what um classes are everyone? What class is everyone? Yeah, like scythe what what is what um oh. you know what um, is what uh three of them. Uh guardsman. I just wanna write it down. I'm a psyker, scythe. I'm an arbitrator. And that's me, Novus. Yeah. Yep. And what is Mir? Uh, Mir is guardsman. Jeff, can you raise your mic level just a little bit? You're a little soft. My mic level? Yeah. How's that? That's good. I 
can't find the name of the Inquisitor. We'll call him Inquisitor Celis from Ordos Hereticus. And where we'll start with this is you're all having breakfast in his large dining room. Um, he's kind of sit at one of the tables uh, reading a data slate. Going through all the, the different news that he's getting for cases that he's working. What are, what are you guys doing? So we're all together in this room with the guy reading the paper? Correct. What's his name? Captain or uh, Inquisitor Celis. Inquisitor Celis. Did now is there any background? Like, did we come back from our mission, or are we? Are uh, we you've been there? off missions for a few months now. Um, you've been assisting him with some minor cases on. Uh, on some various worlds in the Calixis sector. But right now you're back on Saturn in his inquisitorial palace. I mean, do you know each other previously from other missions? Yeah, you guys have been together for for a while now. Um, I'd say prob probably close to a year, if not a year. Who who tends to be the leader of the group? Uh, let you guys work that out. Who wants to take more of a leadership role? Um, I know. Would it make sense that the arbitrator is? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Well, oh, wait. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, Sure, I can take more of a leadership role. Um, so we're just basically sitting here with this guy. Did Having we, some uh, breakfast. Or do we kind of live at the Inquisitorial Palace? You're meeting him at the Inquisitorial Palace. I'm sure you probably have specific rooms in there um, when you need to. I mean, usually you're off on investigations uh, for him. So you don't spend a lot of time in one place, but I'm sure he has rooms that you guys have... Uh, been staying at at least overnight. Um, there's giant platters of juice and uh, different pastries all over the place. Uh, servitors are, are walking around uh, filling up other other servants and other acolytes uh, from other groups. Their uh, cups of coffee or you know pro providing pastries. Well, I'm just going to start by saying, you know, why have you summoned us this time? Yeah, Novus, it, uh, it, it pleases me. We actually have word that Bulligar Throng uh, should be brought to justice, fairly certain. And I would like all of you to go on a mission to uh, capture or kill him for me. What has he done? He has a place called the Museum of Apostasy inside of his mansion on Scintilla. Basically as a, a an entire an entire museum in his mansion filled with heretical artifacts. We had taken a artifact that normal people should not have and put it on the black market for artifacts and he ended up buying it kind of proving his his guilt we need you to go we need you all to go in and secure him and secure an evidence of his heresy do you like him dead or alive uh it matters not to me death is too good for such heretical scum i'd rather him be dead agreed all right then i guess we've spoken uh, Do you I have the artifact to be re recovered. Yes, any evidence you can find of this uh, museum of apostasy would greatly be appreciated. These uh, artifacts will need to be brought back and purged. Uh, I have requested that you have Valkyrie uh, transportation with a uh, a team of Imperial Guard from the Army of Scintillan Protectorate. Uh, they'll be coming in in Valkyrie gunships and 
assaulting the mansion along with you, uh, hopefully taking care of all of the palace guard, which he's been surmounting for months now, uh, which would leave you to be able to investigate with uh, little little chance of being attacked by the main forces. Sounds like we're going to have to face Black that's a, that's, that's a shame. I would have liked to kill lots of people. You may still have the chance, and he laughs and has a sip of coffee. Uh, you're, what's, what's the name of the target again? Uh, you're going to be attacking Bulagor Throng at the Throng Mansion on Scintilla. So have your have your breakfast, rest. The ship leaves in two hours. He also uh, brings over a servitor, and he basically says you have access to a small section of the Imper uh, the his Inquisition armory. So if anyone wants, they can grab a. Laz Carbine, a pump action shotgun. Uh, three Laz packs or 20 shotgun shells. One frag and one crack grenade. A knife and a flak jacket. You don't have to use these, but if you want access to them, you can write down that you have those. All right. Thank you, sir. Some laser packs, charge packs. Okay. I grab a pump action shotgun and a couple shells. Yeah, you get 20 How shells. Many last packs are you taking? What's that? How many last packs are there and how many are you taking? You can take three last packs each. Okay. Like, this is a big storage room that he has in his palace. So, this is kind of like here, take it, borrow it. Is the flak jacket um, good against melee or good against, um, is it like a flak jacket? A bulletproof vest? A flak jacket gives three armor to arms, body, and leg. Um, I'll take one of those. Okay. Arms, arms body, body, and legs. leg. Yep. Alright, I'll take one too. You said I'll three to each? Yeah, three. It does three AP to each of those locations. I take a frag and a cracker. There you go. So that doesn't stack, right? Because I had that vest on. Yeah, it would it replace the vest that you have. Replace it. Okay. So I'm basically going to do the last packs, the grenades, and the pump shotgun. Yep. All right. Do so you guys have it all set? I think so. Okay. I believe so. So after you guys did have I your... Bre down... What's that? Uh, did I write this uh, down wrong? Because on my character sheet, I have flak armor, but it, I have fours across the board. For flak armor? Yeah, you might have read that. Oh, guard, yeah, guard flak armor is better. Oh, okay. uh, it's not guard quality. No big deal. All right. So after a few hours, uh, one of like a small transport vessel comes down, lands on the uh, on the palace. You guys would get into it, board a cruiser, which would take you to Scintilla, and we'll pick up where you guys are on the Valkyrie, uh, heading in with the rest of some guardsmen to assault this gigantic palace. En route, I um, flagellate myself to purge the flesh. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone make a willpower test. Oh, what dice is that? Uh, so you're gonna do to do a willpower test. You're gonna do a roll d100 and try to roll below your willpower. Roll two at, <laughs> below or at. Just one d100. I make it. 
Okay. Uh, I don't. So I have to roll below my willpower? Yep. Yeah, that obviously didn't happen. <laughs> 98. Uh, who else is there? Mur. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> Sky, did one you made it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I throw up. Yeah, all you guys throw up on the plane. Feeling kind of sick. Gross. Ugh, I hate these Ooh. things. Uh, all right. Some of the guard, Jeez, some of the, guys. some of the other guardsmen just. Before. <laughs> a lot of the other guardsmen just kind of look at you like noob. Um. And then, let's see. So you guys start. You guys start flying in really fast on this uh, Valkyrie jet. Let's see. I do this all the time. I don't know about you guys. Is everyone familiar with what a Valkyrie looks like? Uh, not quite. Um, I can try and find a Valkyrie. Not really. Yeah. So a Valkyrie basically looks like... Like this. Is that a Lego Valkyrie? No, I think it's a real one. Oh, okay. It's got it's got two big jets. It's a gunship, and then in this uh, in the back area, there's a cargo bay which people could uh, jump out of. All right. Sweet. So with that being said, let's get into it. Hey Dan, actually I had a, a quick question. Sure. I flagellant it says i inflict one point of damage on myself is okay that, is that the wound is that what that does uh one point of damage yes it would if that's what you're that's, a wound. Okay. that's what it does so yeah i'm not I'm not allowed to treat that ouch can you lower the ambient music yeah loud. It... Good. how's that that's good that's yeah. perfect all right cool there you go the engines of the assault carrier what? Sorry. You go. Okay. The engines of the assault carrier roar as the rear ramp slides open. The wind shrieks in, almost deafening your very thoughts. The troopers seated alongside you check their weapons, throw one last grin at their fellow soldiers, and lower the visors of their helmets. The, si the spires of Sibelis whirl below you, a thousand mansions and noble estates competing for space among a forest of spires and flying banners. Your mission is clear. Bulliger Throng is the last of a proud line. His dynasty squanders on ecstasy. He has turned to heresy as entertainment. Somewhere in this manor is a museum of apostasy that you must locate and investigate. The Centillan Protectorate is attempting to take Throng alive if possible for questioning. The Valkyrie swoops down low over House Throng. The compound walls enclose a mansion with one wing covered by glass. The rest of the building a frowning gothic monstrosity. Rows of tombs cover the garden around the mansion, and household troops, tiny specks from this height, rung along the walls through the grounds. Men of the Protectorate, yells Captain Scipio, hanging on to one of the household mounted handholds mounted overhead. We drop in 30 seconds. Come down fighting and check your targets. He shoots a nasty look at you. You're coming down in the false chapel. Find the proof you need and try not to get yourself killed. Let's burn some heretics. Alright. Burn the heretic. You suddenly... Um, let's see. What's the next one? Alright, so the side doors of the Valkyrie slide open with a thuttering noise. A pair of protectorate guardsmen... A pair of protector guardsmen slide. Uh, where am I? A pair of protector guardsmen bring heavy bolters to life. With a thudding noise to life, shattering the window of the chapel skyline, creating a clear point of entry for your descent. You basically jump out of the ship. As the grav shoots slow your fall to a manageable speed, you're able to get a clear view of the landing area. 
two rows of steel benches with cushioned back seats line the area. There's a squat stone dais, probably reserved for sermons. The intel has shown that this, empty, this area empty, but unfortunately a pair of guard have fallen back into the position, along with a servitor. His left side converted to a metallic housing for an auto gun. Are these palace guards? Uh, yeah, they're mansion guards. And we'll do this. Are they doing anything, or do they see us? Uh, they're running in as you guys are crashing through the ceiling with your grab shoots. Which are kind of like low-powered jump packs. <laughs> Who's who in this, uh, this line of here? So you, it should have your name directly below oh, I can't. the character. Scroll down. There you go. Sweet. I'm Robocop. <laughs> Wait, where's uh, me? You're there. My name's not there, but you can pretty much tell who I am. <laughs> I'm the boss. Nice. Blake, you're the one with the glowing eyes. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, you can scroll down and it'll take your uh, the things off. Cool. There. Guardsmen be become... Wait, they're not guardsmen. Uh, guards become from the Inquisition. Stand down. All right, make a intimidate check or a diplomacy check. Diplomacy check. Do you have diplomacy? What is my check? <laughs> uh, no, I do not have diplomacy. Or trying to see what other. You can make a fellowship test. Uh, I don't want to do that. That's not gonna work. Uh, can I make? Uh, yeah, I don't have any good tests for that. Um, <laughs> could I make a? Does anyone else have any good tests like that? I can intimidate the shit out of them. Yeah, if you yeah, have intimidate, <laughs> do it. All right. Intimidate. Uh, so these benches are on the side here, right? Yeah, so the benches are going to give you cover when you're standing behind them from your uh, legs. If you crouch, it gives your uh, body and your legs cover. It's uh, um, AP6. So you guys can replace yourself on this back row wherever you want. Um, you're also going to need to make a uh, an ordinary agility test, or if you have acrobatics, you can make an easy acrobatics test to try and land successfully. So place your characters where you want them. Uh, make sure you have your your arrow pointed, not the drag cursor. There you go. Where is the? How do I get? Use the pointer arrow, and then you can just click and drag your guy. The pointer arrow. Yeah, it's in the toolbox in the top left. Accidentally hit my uh, push to talk button again. Yeah. The little menu thing, or make sure that arrow is selected. Yep. Yeah, I got the arrow. So you just click drag. Yeah, just click and drag your guy where you want him. Yes, you have to be on that back row, uh, Blake. Hmm. Select. Ooh. Yeah, he's not moving. It's just drawing a blue box. Oh, let me move. let me try and do it. Hold on one sec. Uh, there. I mean, if you didn't give you access to move your character, probably. Um. Okay, now you guys should have access. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yep. That's what you um, I'll chill behind this bench. So this bench right here gives me cover, right? Uh, correct. All right. So now I need everyone to make a. Well, we'll do it one at a time, just to to save things a little bit. Uh, Sky, make a. Ordinary agility test, so a plus 10 okay. on your roll, unless you have acrobatics. I do not, so oh. it's just a d100 plus 10. Uh, your, so whatever your stat is, is going to be increased by 10, so you have a better chance of making it. So, oh, okay. D100. So 56. My agility is 32. So you fail.